Uh, we're going to go to the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 32. God called me to be an evangelist when I was 14 years old. Uh, I was uh, uh, really zealous for soul winning and, and uh, or listened to different messages. We'd have evangelists come twice a year to our church for revival meetings, and, and God really used them in my life. And at, at uh, 15, I, I surrendered to that call to be an evangelist. And as uh, I've, of course, grown in the Lord and grown in my call, and uh, there's certain burdens, there's certain passions that God has placed upon my heart, and certainly a, a very big passion in my heart is for revival. And yet so often when we think about revival, uh, you know, you say, well, I'd really like to see revival. That way, uh, you know, my, my situation would change. You know, maybe things would happen different in California. Uh, maybe things would change in, in America. So that's why we want revival. And, and uh, you know, and that's, uh, that's fine. But uh, is there a higher motivation for revival than just that? Uh, you know, we, I think of some preachers, they might say, you know, we really want revival because, you know, we need uh, higher uh, bus attendance. We need uh, greater love offerings. And all of that is a fruit of revival. So often we are pursuing revival for all the wrong reasons. We pursue all the gifts of it, but not the person of it. What's the goal of revival? God himself. Psalm 85, 6, wilt thou, that's God, it starts with God, revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee. The goal of revival is God himself. I am not in a rut uh, when I, you know, of course, I've been in 12 years, but uh, I, I hold the... Uh,